In other tables you have seen, you might have seen that they have headers either in the row or column. Now these headers help explain what a row or column represents. In HTML, to create a header, we use th. Now that is different from td, which is table data. Table header represents the header. And in this case, we are creating a new row in the first row made up of three headers. So what's the significance of using th? When you use th, it renders the text in a bold and centered format. So it is distinctive and different from the other text. As you see here now, we have column one for header one, column two for header two, and column three for header three. And the way we added the three headers is just like any other row. But instead of using table data, we used table header to contain the information. You can actually expand a particular header through multiple colons using the colon span attribute. Let's say I have two headers, but I want the first header to span two colons. I will say colon span two. This way, we have header one that actually spans across two columns and then header two, which just focuses on one column. So this is kind of flexible for situations where you have a particular header that applies to multiple columns. You can give your table a caption. A caption is like the overall title of the table. Normally this should explain what the table is about. And you can include your caption after the opening table tag. It kind of explains what the whole table is about. So anytime you see caption, that is what it's used for. Now, aside from columns that have table headers, you can have headers in rows. At the beginning of each row, we will have a th element. So at the start of a row, we have a header. So aside the normal three elements, we have one initial element, which is a header. So that way we have a horizontal header. You even have more complex tables that have both the column header and row header. So this is just how to play around with headers and to make our tables more descriptive and understandable. So go try this out on your own.